In this question, a tangent with equation y equals minus x on 2 plus k touches the curve with equation g of x equals x minus log e of x. Find the value of k. So the first thing I'm going to do is a sketch of this so I can see where the tangent is going to touch. Using my calculator, I got a graph roughly like this. This becomes an asymptote, the y-axis. So this doesn't actually have a y-intercept. And then this tangent here, the gradient of this tangent is minus one half. That means it's sloping this way and it's a fixed gradient. So it's going to touch somewhere down here. So I'll draw that in now like that and it touches at this point here and I'll mark that in yellow. So let's say that's where the tangent meets that graph of g of x. So because that point is common to the tangent and to the graph, that means the x and y coordinate of that point belongs to both of those graphs. And to find the value of k, all you have to do is sub a point that belongs to the tangent into the, the equation of the tangent, and you'll be able to figure out what k is. And so the way you need to do that is to use the other information. The fact that it is a tangent means that the gradient of that tangent is also the gradient of that curve at that yellow point there where the tangent meets the curve. So the gradient of the tangent is the same as the gradient at that point on the curve. So the next step is to start solving. And the way that you do this is just to let the gradient of the tangent equal the gradient of the curve, which is g dash of x. And so the gradient of the tangent, which is minus one half. So letting that equal and then deriving g of x, so that be x becomes 1, and this becomes the derivative of log e of x becomes 1 over x. So that becomes 1 minus 1 over x. And then what I would do next is times everything by x, and also times everything by 2. But I'll just do one, one thing at a time. So timesing everything by 2, that will make this equal to, and I'll actually just put this step in for you, and then 2 times 1 and then 2 times 1 on x. So this 2 is really 2 on 1, it, or 2 times a half is 1. So this becomes negative 1, and that's equal to 2 times 1 is 2. And then this is 2 over 1, and then tops together, bottoms together, that gives you minus 2 on x. And then the next thing I want to do is times everything by x to get rid of the x on the bottom here. So this becomes minus x, this becomes 2x. And when you times by x over 1, it cancels that x and you're left with 2. So moving this 2 to that side and this x term to this side, you get positive 2 equals 2x plus x. So from there, 3x equals 2. And dividing both sides by 3, you get x equals 2 thirds. So what this value is, is the x value at the point where the two tangents or the two gradients are equal to each other, which is the yellow dot. So that's the x coordinate there, two thirds, and you need to figure out the y coordinate. And the way you would do that would be to sub this x value into the equation of g of x. So what you're really finding is g of two thirds, and so that's equal to two thirds so that replacing the x with two thirds and then minus log e of two thirds like such and then this is the y coordinate therefore this point so the x value of two thirds and the y value of two thirds minus log e of two thirds now all you have to do is sub the x and y value of that point into the equation of the tangent up here and then you'll be able to figure out what k is equal to. So if y is equal to minus x on 2 plus k, rearranging that, just putting this on that side, you get y plus x on 2 equals k. So k 
equals y plus x on 2. And then subbing in the y value, which is this value here. So 2 thirds minus log e of 2 thirds. And then plus x, which is 2 thirds, divided by 2. So that's 2 thirds over 2. And 2 thirds divided by 2 ends up being 1 third. So you get 2 thirds plus that 1 third minus log e of 2 thirds. And then that becomes 1, one whole or 1. And then minus log e and natural log ln 2 thirds. And so that's the value of k. So therefore, k equals. 1 minus natural log of 2 thirds. And just here with that 2 thirds divided by 2, so 2 thirds divided by 2 is 2 thirds, and this is 2 over 1, and so that becomes times by 1 on 2. You get 2 on 6, or you can cancel the 2s and you end up with 1 third. And so this is the answer to the question. And so this k value is actually the y-intercept of that tangent. And if you check it out on your calculator, um, the minimum value here is somewhere between 0 and 1, the y value of that. And so this value here, which actually works out to be about 1.405 on the calculator, which is more than that minimum value here. So the fact that this y-intercept here is greater than the y-value of that turning point here means that the tangent has a negative gradient. If it had a zero gradient, then the y-intercept would be the same y-value as at that point there. And the fact is that it's got a negative gradient, so therefore the y-intercept of the tangent has to be greater than that minimum value here, because it's got to touch on some part of that left-hand side of the curve to the left of that turning point, which means that that y-intercept is going to be greater than that y-value at the minimum value. And so that what that really means is that this is, it, this could be the correct answer. As long as you haven't made any mistakes in the steps, then this is the correct answer. Uh, and so the graph verifies that, in fact, this is the correct answer. So I hope that last little bit makes sense, and I'll see you in the next one.